Hey, welcome back guys. So this video was originally going to feature an AMD Phenom 2 1055T on the Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. Um, Windows 11 installed and updated with no problem. Uh, I ran Cinebench R15 that scored almost the identical score it did under Windows 10. And I even ran Firestrike and got a respectable score there. So naturally, I thought, let's overclock it a bit. And uh, with a slight overclock to 3.2 gigahertz, um, everything was looking good. I went to run Cinebench R15 again, and uh, it seemed like the motherboard took a shit. Uh, it froze right here, and uh, then it never booted again, even, you know, we're trying different CPUs. So now we find ourselves reinstalling Windows 11 on a totally different system. Uh, the install went fine, uh, it even downloaded updates for the install, and uh, we ended up with the latest version of Windows 11 running from an SSD on an AMD Phenom 9550 quad-core CPU from 2008, running at 2.2 GHz on an ASUS ROG Crosshair Socket AM2 motherboard uh, with 4 GB DDR2 at 800 MHz and the Radeon HD 7790 GPU that we used previously. Uh, nothing has been tweaked, everything is in the default configuration. Cinebench R15 scored a 206 multi-core score and a single core score of 47. Uh, Steam installed with no issues, Firestrike ran just fine, and this system scored a 3840. Uh, and checking out gaming performance, uh, this is of course going to be more about the Phenom 9550 than Windows 11, since uh, the performance would really be no different under Windows 10. But the fact that it is running games on Windows 11 on this old CPU is still pretty cool. So let's check out some game footage and then we'll come back at the end for a quick chat.
All right, so as you can see, it didn't do too bad. Uh, it did struggle on some of the newer games, obviously, uh, but it also struggles with more modern software. Uh, if you look at the resource usage of just the Epic Games launcher open on the desktop, you can see it's just plain ridiculous. Um, however, when it's minimized the system tray, it barely uses any, but it just shows how much power is needed today to run everything smoothly. Um, even running MSI Afterburner and logging the benchmark data decreases the gaming performance a little bit. But as far as using it as a home PC for browsing the internet, YouTube, etc., um, it actually does uh, very well. As you can see, the CPU usage at idle is, is very low, and uh, using Microsoft's new Edge browser, um, it, it performs really well. Even YouTube videos full screen at 1080p are no problem. Uh, you do run into issues once you start adding tabs. Uh, it becomes a bit too much to handle, but as long as you remember to close out unused tabs, I, I think it's just fine. But as we all know, it won't be available for older hardware when it's released, and uh, really, there would be no benefit to using it even if it were, aside from the much better visuals. Any of the new performance enhancing features are only going to be for the newer hardware that supports those features anyways, so with older hardware, you're really not missing out on much if you're stuck on Windows 10. Uh, you could always get even better cosmetic options if you were to run a Linux OS with a KDE Plasma desktop that you can customize to your heart's content. But anyways, uh, that was a look at Windows 11 on Phenom 9550 and a Socket AM2 motherboard. Uh, to install it on this older hardware, I once again used the ISO I created from the uupdump.net site and I extracted the install.esd file from the sources folder and I pasted it into the sources folder of a Windows 10 installation flash drive overwriting the original file with the new one. But anyways, uh, I hope somebody found this interesting, and you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.